Well guys, it was only a matter of time and honestly, I kind of saw it coming before but I was too scared to say it because I knew I was wrong. And guys, if you can't tell, you can still see my knee in the corner but Facebook is doing an oopsie. <laughs> God. And it makes no sense why they're doing it in terms of how they're executing it but it does kind of make sense and I'll explain it in a second but basically what Instagram is going to do, they're going to literally ruin everything that Instagram kind of stood for. In my opinion, it's going to scare a lot of people away from even downloading Instagram to begin with. And it, this also goes with WhatsApp too but I don't have it on this device, I don't use WhatsApp, I use Instagram all the time though. And pretty much what Facebook wants to do, actually for those of you who don't know, Facebook actually owns both Instagram and WhatsApp so if you use either of those apps, Facebook still has your data which you know it's not that big of a deal, you know this is still main way people communicate. I still think it's really weird that Facebook uses the type of data that they do, but it, I guess it's whatever. Well, with Instagram, what they want to do is that they want to rebrand Instagram to where it doesn't say Instagram, it says Instagram by Facebook or Instagram from Facebook or whatever the case is. And I think in my opinion, that's literally the most strategically dumb thing they could ever think of doing because Facebook already has a bad, now I'll, I'll look at it at both sides, okay? I'll look at the bad and the good. So let me look at the good real quick. I'll tell you the bad. The bad is, is that Facebook, <laughs> already has a connotation of like being you know bad it's like unsafe they steal your data this and that now this is all my opinion this is not based on fact or whatever but facebook isn't really looking too hot to be honest whenever people bring up facebook they are usually bringing up mark zuckerberg memes which i love to death they're freaking awesome or they're talking about some facebook in the news thing or like facebook being you know a target of a data breach or whatever the case is again this is all my opinion but this is these are kind of the things that i see on a daily basis almost and the fact of the matter is is that if people kind of take that image away you know they might not have facebook on their phone they might not be you know using facebook but they probably do use instagram since tons of users use that so they're probably like you know what people don't even know we owned instagram so we might as well just put our branding all over instagram <laughs> So people are more used to seeing Facebook and they're like, oh my God, look, I already had Instagram. They already have my data. So they already have this and that. So it can't be that bad, right? So I think Facebook just doesn't want to be the bad guy anymore. I think they want to go and kind of rebrand themselves. And I think that's kind of good. And that looks kind of smart, to be honest. But I think the way they're going about it, I think is very, very strange. And the reason I think that is because I think they're going to start linking Instagram to Facebook more so than they already do. And the same thing with WhatsApp. The ball is in their court really, you know, they have all advantage of both of these humongous apps that people use all the time. And I think as something as simple as switching the name, such as Instagram from, from Facebook, Instagram to Facebook, whatever the name is going to be, I think they're going to start pushing the narrative of like, oh my God, we need to go and start linking things with Facebook again. We need to start going ham and like start doing a lot more crazier things between the relationship between Instagram and Facebook. Because right now there really isn't too much of an overlap to be honest. There wasn't really that much in the past either, but I can see that totally happening now. By the way, follow my Instagram. You guys already know what the boy is. Do not follow this one, okay? This is my fake account. I don't know why I have 21 followers in here. You guys keep trying to follow this one. Do not follow this one. Follow this one. This is the main one, but or follow both. It doesn't matter. I'm never going to... I don't think I'm going to post on here, but I might. Who's the one person I'm following? Oh, yeah. You already know who the boy is. So that's a little bit of an update. I mean, I think it's really weird. I think Instagram tried to do this a while ago, but the other thing is, is that they're apparently going to remove likes, which I think is going to be super stupid because that's really the only metric you have of engagement besides followers, unless you're going to look at comments or something. But I don't know, dude, that's a very weird thing. I don't understand that logic at all. But what I'm saying is, is that if Instagram rebrands itself as Instagram from Facebook or Instagram, whatever from Facebook, whatever they're going to call it, I think it's going to be a dumb thing. I think it's just going to be like a petty thing. It's like, why would you even spend that much time and effort to market it if it's the exact same app? But I can see it on their behalf because they're like, oh my God, like Facebook has a bad image or whatever. And they want to hurry up and go fix that. And this is one of the main ways they can do that. So that's pretty much it. Very, very weird thing. I don't know what's going to happen from this. Maybe they won't do it, hopefully. But I guess we're going to have to wait and see, guys. If you have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That means so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.